welcome back to my views and news very important news story for you tagrai nationalism oromo nationalism are not new phenomena in ethiopia or tagrai groups some groups in tagrai have been calling for an independent tagrai country uh even there is a party by the name of by the name of tagrai independence party Romia region based groups uh privately mostly they have also been discussing the establishment of greater romia some groups based in romia but they have been very calculated in the talks now it's amhara's turn viewers amhara a popular front apf was established more than a month ago around 40 days ago this armed organization was established it is led by skandar naga a former politician apf has shared a map map of an independent separate amhara country amhara not ethiopia we'll have a detailed look at this development we'll have a look at the map too very interesting map uh, by the way it includes territories from other regions too uh, and uh, we'll try to compare uh, apf's call for independence and some calls for independence by other groups in ethiopia uh, can we say that apf is mature enough as an organization uh and can we say that this uh, sharing of a map and announcement to establish an amhara country is it a responsible move or is apf going to lose international allies firstly last night a uh, first formal fundraising was held for amhara popular front a webinar uh was uh, organized yesterday attended by amhara diaspora community ethio 360 journalists were there to go fund me campaign was launched within just 2 hours 300000 us dollars were raised in total around uh, 370000 us dollars were raised for amhara popular fund so it shows that amhara diaspora members are overwhelmingly supporting skandar naga's amhara popular front perhaps apf is now the richest uh militant group in uh ethiopia the richest arm group in ethiopia though we know that ola receives donations from abroad to tigray fighters to other groups to we don't know about their Uh, go fund me campaigns but uh, the way amhara diaspora generously supported last nights uh, in last nights go fund me campaign it, it seems that amhara diaspora wants apf to be strengthened immediately after that amhara popular front released a statement with a map it said there is no need to sing for ethiopia now amhara people have sung a lot for ethiopia in return they got killings they were killed displaced maimed injured no need to sing for ethiopia anymore now sing for amhara amhara country greater amhara forget ethiopia this is the call made by apf and apf has published a map of new amhara country how it should be like very interesting map let's have a look at this map first this is the map shared by apf on its uh, social media page this map shows greater uh, amhara country volkai thumara sagade western tigray is shown part of this amhara country 
ஃபஸ்ட்லி செகண்ட்லி வொல்காய் துமாய் ரசாகதே ஆர் கிளேம்ட் பாய் டெகராய் டு த ஜோன் இஸ் டிஸ்பியூட்டட் பிட்வீன் டெகராய் அண்ட் அம்ஹாரா ரீஜன்ஸ் செகண்ட்லி டு த வெஸ்ட் கர்ட் கிராண்ட் இஃப் யூ பிரென்சாஸ் டேம் இஸ் ஆல்சோ இன்க்ளூடிட் இன் திஸ் நியூ கண்ட்ரி ப்ரொப்போஸ்ட் கண்ட்ரி parts of bg are included in the new proposed amhara countries map addis ababa ethiopian capital part of the amhara country parts of valaga too and then to the south it seems that amhara country wants to connect with kenya though i'm not sure about the borders here because uh, the writing on the map is not very clear another interesting thing is that to the east amhara country is shown connected with djibouti and eritrea so i think through afar and somali regions this amhara uh, country uh, wants to connect with djibouti and eritrea why ethiopia djibouti road should be part of the new proposed amhara country so you see that uh, the new proposed amhara country's map has areas from tigray from bg from oromia from addis ababa and from somali and afar regions too amhara country wants to, wants to connect with eritrea in the north sudan and south sudan in the west uh, eritrea djibouti in the east and in the south it wants to connect with kenya too i think no connection with somalia or somali land i think Now, two very important points first point is about how will this announcement be received within amhara ethnic group amhara diaspora going to support it but within amhara ethnic group in ethiopia i don't think that even all hardliners would support this idea um, under the post uh, published by apf uh, about the separate amhara country lots of viewers criticized uh, the idea they rejected the idea it is difficult for amhara people to call themselves just amhara and not ethiopia firstly secondly ola has been fighting for years uh 50th anniversary of romo liberation front's formation is being uh, celebrated these days but even ola does not uh, call for a separate oromia country all always says that it wants a self determination people of oromia should decide the future of their uh, territory ola never publicly said that it uh, was uh, uh, working for a separate oromia country split with ethiopia tigray uh, did you ever hear APLF leaders saying that Tigray should be an independent country no yes there are some groups in Tigray uh, which have been calling for independence uh, some uh, parties to but uh, majority party Tigray military leadership they don't publicly say that Tigray should be a separate independent country why both tigray and oromia uh, uh, elites uh, and groups uh, have not been publicly voicing the idea of separate countries because they know that once an ethnic group in ethiopia announces independence announces that there should be an independent country it will lose international allies it will lose international acceptance i personally think apf is a relatively new organization not mature enough 
not well acquainted with international uh, consequences of such announcement. It tried to address diaspora. Just like Tigray and diaspora was very vocal supporter of independent Tigray country. Same is the case here too, I think, that Amhara diaspora would also be supportive of an independent Amhara country. But those organizations in Ethiopia which start calling for the establishment of uh, independent Amhara country, they lose support of international allies. It would be difficult for them to find international allies because Ethiopian government would take a position that these groups wants to split Ethiopia. They want to create splits. They want to secede. They want to uh, create a new uh, country which is against uh, uh, international uh, laws. So that is why no one in international community should engage with these groups. It would be difficult for these groups based in Amhara to get international support if they keep on uh, supporting the idea or raising the question of, uh, of establishment of a separate Amhara country. I think APF might withdraw, it might back down. Uh, it's too early for APF to speak something big like this that Amhara should be a separate country. And if you want to include territories of Tigray, Biji, Addis Ababa, Oromia, uh, maybe Somalia, far uh, too in uh, the new Amhara country, it means that all these regions will oppose the idea of creation of a separate Amhara uh, country. It means that uh, Amhara Popular Front, Amhara hardliners uh, will be without any allies in Ethiopia. Overall, I think just because APF managed to raise around $400,000 in just two hours, it decided to raise the slogan of a separate Amhara country. Let's see, will APF pursue this idea? Will it just float the idea to see public reaction? That remains to be seen. It should be monitored. It's a very important development that now Amhara nationalism is a relatively new phenomenon, but now people uh, are starting to call for the establishment of uh, a separate independent Amhara country. Thank you for watching.